Hey guys, Monster Matt here, and welcome to the appreciation video before the Pokemon Crystal Nuzlocke content on putting Team Rocket on ice, the Mahogany Gym Battle number 14. We got four likes and comments coming from Scription Gaming, Adel Tamid, and Arvidal. Thanks so much for commenting, you guys, and stopping by the video. It's always appreciated. And I want to say as well that um, Arvidal put up a video today, uh, which, which really, really, I, I, I guess... Um, inspired me i guess is the, is is the, is the best way to put it where he's he's trying to like bring all of our all of our uh channels like closer together and helping helping to to uh connect people and i, I can already see the effects because i woke up this morning and found that i'd actually gotten two new subscribers bringing us up to 96 total uh the two new uh, subs were out Al Kohai and Scans Netro TV. So thanks so much to you guys for uh, subscribing. I hope to see you around the channel some more. And of course, we'll check out your stuff as well. Uh, you know, and hopefully we all get a little bit bigger and a little bit stronger together. So thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. And for now, a Monster Mad out. Bye bye. Arvido here. Description here. Monster Mad here. Hey guys, Monster Matt here, and welcome back once again to the Pokemon Crystal Nuzlocke. As you can see, it is nighttime here in Goldenrod City, and it's time for us to step out, put on our hero clothes, and fight some evil. Because Team Rocket has taken over the radio tower, and we gotta stop them by, by, by golly gosh darn it. <laughs> so we're going in the radio tower to kick some ass. I've made a few changes to the team, not like in terms of who's on it, other than, you know, Paige being here to fly ass places. But I got a little bit of a secret here. Well, not secret, but... Something that uh, Scription and I have been excited to test out. So we'll let Sir Truffle take 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 first crack at these guys. Speaking of Scription, uh, he is a whisper away from 50 subscribers, and it would mean a lot to me if you guys would go over to his channel, check out his latest Nuzlocke series, the Red 721. It's amazing. He's been naming his team after people he knows. So like, he actually named his starter Larvitar after me, and it's just been a lot of fun. Like watching my 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 counterpart get put through the ringer. Um, it's, it's, it's weirdly, you know, it, it's, it, 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 uh, makes me feel very invested in it anyway, and, but, but it's, um, a lot of fun seeing which Pokemon he ends up fighting because it's all randomized and such, and, and, and they've included Pokemon from other generations as well. So it's definitely worth taking a look, and he's so close to, to, uh, 50 subs, so please, please, please go, go have a look at his stuff. I'm sure you won't regret it. He's a great guy. And of course, check out Arvido's stuff as well. He's the, the, uh, other, uh, person in our little, uh, Crystal Nuzlocke group here. Uh, the other one uh, besides me, who's still who's still progressing with it, and he, as always, handles these things with 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 much more aplomb than I do. <laughs> so be sure to go check him out. And uh, yeah, but now time for secret weapon testing. We've finally taken over the radio tower. Now everyone will get to experience the true terror of Team Rocket. We'll show you how scary we are. Yeah, okay there, Dr. Meta Evil. Jeez. He is very intense for his team. They must have hired him on as like the the, the, the PR guy. Okay, let's eradicate. Eradicate! 24. Hey, look at that level bump. And there it is, in all of its horrifying glory. The sludge bomb. I mean, I'm sure strength is stronger because it's 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 a AD base power. Normal moves are get stab. But let's let's just see what Sludge Bomb would do in theory. You're not that scary. I'm much scarier because you're a rat and I brought the point. Another tennis ball. I'm I'm gonna have to commission someone to, or, or, or like get someone to like draw art of Sir Truffle like loaded with like bandoliers full of shadow balls and sludge bombs because apparently he's just a grenadier with a, with 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 an awesome jaw. He fought in he, he, he fought in the Pokemon Wars where he was knighted by 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 the the Queen or something. As 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 the the, the official the official grenadier Pokemon of the Two T's army. Uh, division that is not 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 the whole army, because apparently he he just throws tennis balls at everything. Oh, a ghost tennis ball. Oh, a grass type tennis ball. It's just just a, a, a different tennis ball. And as always, his strength is absolute destruction. His attack stat is just uh, uh, jaw dropping. Too strong. We we must watch you, dude. You can't watch me. I already creamed you. 
And see, I actually know Dyna I actually have the ability to teach him Dy um, Dynamic Punch as well, which is an amazingly powerful fighting move, which would be good, but it has a 50% hit chance, and I, I, just, I just can't do it. Rock Smash is trash, but at least it's reliable. Alright, so add him to the level 29 pile. Peanut has some catching up to do, so she gets to come out next. Followed by Frond! Now, as this tower is likely to be a giant grunt fest, I'll do this floor for now, and if it turns out to just be grunts and grunts and grunts on the next floor, I'll probably start speeding through, because we have a lot to get to today. I want to get through the radio tower, I want to get through Ice Path, and depending on, on where we are at that point, we may challenge Claire, or we may leave it one more episode. Because that kings are scary. Well, hello. I wave my tail back and forth, I wave my tail back and forth. <laughs> Really, you do. And Peanut here needs to learn a new move as well, because I am sick to death of her having only Mud Slap for ground moves. Granted, having them, you know, make self-destruct miss is kind of well worth it, but still. That Quick Claw does so much work for us. Hee <laughs> hee. Mr. Paralysis move. Twice. Eat dirt. And die. Thank you. 28. Oh, Peanut, you never, you, you never let us down. Her attack's almost as high as uh, Sir, Sir uh, Truffles. Matter of fact, how does the attack stat tree line up these days? Because, like, I have a lot of physical attackers on my team. All right, we got Peanut at 82 attack. 84 defense, making her the, the, a, a well-rounded physical powerhouse, if a bit sluggish. And by a bit, I mean rather sluggish. You're not even in this dispute. You, you're you're more spread out. That he's... Honestly, he's better at defense than anything else. That surprised me a little bit. But even then, he's not evolved, so he's not really in, he's not really in the running here yet. Poor Frond. 86. Is that... He's, he's actually stronger. Granted, he's a higher level, but still, he, he's slightly stronger than Peanut at, at 86. Can anyone dethrone Sir Truffle? No. No, they can't. Sir Truffle wins. By a narrow margin, I, 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 I'll grant you, but he, 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 he does win over Peanut in raw power. We're Team Rocket, the exploiters of exploiters of Pokemon. Double exploiters. We love being evil. Are you scared? Huh, really? I'm not a Pokemon. You're not exploiting me. <laughs> then again, I guess you guys take Pokemon from weaklings because it's which, which would explain why why all of your Pokemon suck. Case in point, an unevolved Rattata. Right. You know what? You're getting rollout stratted. Adjust to that fact. This this is your life now. Don't you disrespect me? Don't you take away my 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 defense boost? Not that it matters. Okay, let's go. Come on. Let the good times roll out all over the face. Empowered rollout one shot. And again. Because, like, I assume that if, 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 if empowered rollout stage one can kill one of these things... We're not going to have to worry about any of this from, from this point on. You brought five Pokemon, and it's, it's going to take me all five hits to kill them all, but, you know, that's acceptable. We call this acceptable losses. <laughs> Where I lose none, and he loses everyone. Please have, like, eradicate for your last Pokemon so I can at least get some more experience out of this. Like, pretty please? No. Rattata. Dude. Like, did you go on, like, a, a stealing spree back on Route 30 and, like, rob all these rats from, from, like, small children? Because... I don't know why you think this is a good idea. <laughs> it's like playing through Fire Red without the dupes claws. You just have six... six Rattata. <laughs> Well, hey, hey, keep out of our way! You're a poet and you didn't know it. All right, all right, bard, oh warrior poet of, of 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 Team Rocket, what do you have? Bats. 
Bats in his belfry. Well, this shouldn't even require me to empower it. Oh, no, it actually did. But you missed. You fool! You are not almighty enough to stand before me. Only, only Arvidal Zubat is worth anything in my eyes. Oh, and Langstrom in my, in my PC. And Morticia. And Scriptions, who I'm forgetting the name of. Shoot. Uh, Lestat. Mm, yes. Those are the only Zubat that, that are, that are worthy of Zubatting. Although Morticia, sadly, has uh, left us over on K-Cray's channel. <sighs> Alright, well, so far this is just Grunt City, which is fine, but... Three years ago, Team Rocket was forced to disband! Oh, we're making a comeback here! Hey, we're making a comeback here! Yeah, I'm walking here! Like, dude, this is, this is not the middle of the street. I'm not a cab. What do you have? Toxic Mud. Well, that's okay, because I have regular mud, which apparently beats your toxic mud. Have at thee. <clears throat> I never understand why. I, I, I never did understand why Grimer and Muck knew Harden. Like, doesn't making the Muck hard, like making the sludge harder make them easier to hurt? Because wasn't, wasn't their whole shtick that like attacks just sunk into them and didn't do anything? If, if, if they solidified, it would make them more brittle. They should totally have their own, like, unique spin on Harden, called, like, Soften or something, it's just, which does the same thing, but just for, for, for the sake of, of, of logic, I guess. Not the Pokemon games ever worry too, too much about logic. Now he's a tiny speck of sludge. So I will bury him in the backyard. You're not just sweeping her way through this no problem so far. I would, I, I'd be letting um, Thrawn get some experience on these guys, but one crit sludge and he, his, his, his life is in some serious danger, you know? His psychic typing makes him good against them, but his grass typing makes it not, not that good of an idea overall. Accuracy down. There's the Harden. You guys just like doing that, don't you? Well, that's fine. Oh, pound. Ow, wow, it hurts so bad. <laughs> what do you got? Come on, really? Like, that can't be the best you have. You'll live through this, I know, but still. R really, Harden and Pound? That's all you have for me? Really, Peanut? Okay, then just, e everyone missed. Mulligan day. The mulligan turn. Don't get cute. Okay, well, if that's all this is gonna be, because... Yeah, this seems to be more of the same. Okay, so I'm gonna fast forward to this, guys. I, I, I may have to pop back to heal a few times anyway. So I'm just gonna go ahead and fast forward through this part and get ourselves, uh, you know, up to something plot-related anyway. Do I have potions? I do not. Okay, in that case, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go get potions first, and then I am going to, to, to come back and deal with this, so... I'll just, I'll, I'll just zip, 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 zip for you guys. See you shortly.
Yes! At last! Zim joins the upper ranks. It's a real shame we can't get a Magna Zone in this game, because it doesn't exist yet, but hey. Magneton is pretty damn good, too. Little symphony of screws going on there. And one of them's just upside down instead of anything else. <laughs> He's just like, hey guys, the world looks funky from down here, and they're like, shh, shh. Just, just, just float there, it's okay. Alright, let's check him out. How do you stack up against the rest? 76 health, finally. You know, his health isn't utter crap anymore. It's still, it's still not great. His, his, his base HP is never going to be anything, anything too, too high. It's one of uh, the uh, Magnemite Lion's weaknesses. But his defense is about, actually about what it was, but his other stats have risen as well. Actually, I didn't expect his speed to be, as, be equal to his special defense, but it is. And his special attack has finally come into its own. It, it has gone from playing second fiddle to his defense to being much, much, much stronger. So that's excellent. He, he's really our only special sweeper. I mean, we, we, we have Frond as well, but he's just, he's not as sweepy. Maybe, maybe once he evolves into uh, Exeggutor, maybe he'll be a little bit more uh, aggressive. But for now, our only special sweeper right now is Zim. Eh, who's going to be up first for this? I mean, Frond is doing all right for himself most of the time. So watch out for those poisons. You're a, you're a scientist, though. You, you use Magnemite, right? So, it'll be, be okay. Anyway, back to fast forwarding. You! You came to rescue me?! Why, yes, sir, I did. Oh. Is that what you were expecting? Wrong! I'm an imposter! I pretend to be the real thing to prepare for our takeover. Do you want to know where we hid the real director? Sure, I'll tell you. But only if you can beat me in a Pokemon battle. Because <coughs> we're just going to trust him. We're not going to have honor about this, are we? Hello, random executive with no actual name or personal sprite of any kind. Also, six Pokemon. Oh! Level 30. Wow, you're definitely a cut above the rest, that's for sure. Just gonna ward us against any potential explosions. With your dick assery nose and no bounds. And yeah, I know I'm playing with fire because he can just crit sludge me to death, but apparently my confusion is just, just as lethal to him, so hey. Alright. Please tell me your entire team is not just coughing. It is, isn't it? Okay, that's that. That's a thing. Five, it can't be five coughing. No, you know what? There's a wheezing in there somewhere. It's gotta be. Not that it matters. It's the same basic thing, just tougher. Also, way to go, Fraun, ignoring the hell out of that smoke screen a few turns back. Another crit. Taking taking sweet vengeance for those we have lost at the hands of the self-destructors. Luck is faded. Let me just re-up that, and then I'll switch him out. I'm, I'm, I'm getting a little bit antsy with this. I don't want to push my luck too far, because see, the, the, here comes the sludge. Now, as long as he doesn't get a crit, it shouldn't be that bad, since Reflect basically just takes away its super effectiveness. Because super effective damage makes it multiplied by two, Reflect cuts it in half, so it just sort of negates the whole thing. So why don't we go ahead and let Peanut set up on this guy, because there's three of them left. So even if there is a wheezing in their ranks, if she gets her rollout going now, then uh, should not be any serious issue for her. Especially not with, with uh, Reflect and a Defense Curl. <laughs> he can blow up in her face all he likes and she will not care. The smoke screen could be a problem, though. This thing needs 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 to, needs to die. Don't you dare blind me with your smoke! I said, don't you dare. Keep your tennis balls to themselves. You're not you're not Sir Truffle. He is the master grenade thrower. Well, that's two off successfully. I'd feel better if we didn't have that smoke in our eyes. We'll make it work, I guess. Level thirty for on. Way to way to go. Right, who's up next? Three left. Coffee. Unsurprisingly. 
Reflect is out, but stage three rollout is still running. Good, 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 good. There's the wheezing. Wait, does he have two wheezing? There's two Pokemon left. Oh, but stage, was that, four rollouts to lands. Is wheezing tough enough? No, he's not. Ain't no one tough enough to, ha to handle stage four empowered rollout when Peanut's at the wheel. And another wheezing? No, it's a coughing. What? Why would you... Eh, whatever. Eat a stage five rollout and just cry. Go, go, just, 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 just go cry in the corner. Okay, okay, I'll tell you where he is. Jesus, this kid. We stashed a real director in the underground warehouse. It's at the far end of the underground. But I, I, I doubt you'll get that far. So, you know, here's a key anyway. I'm being surprisingly decent about this. Okay. Per personally, I wouldn't expect that key to be genuine, or I wouldn't have, wouldn't have, wouldn't have thought he'd have, he'd have, he'd have, he would have given it to us at all. But he did. So that's odd. Okay, well, I'm going to zip zap down there, because we've already done the underground in a previous episode. A few... A, a while ago, actually. So, it's just walking down there. I'm going to stop by and heal first, though. So, I'll see you guys in a moment. Alrighty. <clears throat> I guess it's this way, considering there's no other way to go. No entry beyond the... Okay, I, I, I'm, I'm kind of glad, glad it didn't just say, Secret ro Rocket Base Keep Out. Although, that would have been funnier, I guess. Ta-da! Hmm. What evil lies within? Oh, it's some, some kind of a dungeon. Wait, what? <gasps> I forgot about you. Well, hold it right there. I saw you, so I tailed you. I don't need you on the foot while I take care of Team Rocket. Wait a second. You did beat me before, didn't you? That was just a fluke. A fluke. By repaying my debts in full. Just, just adding, just, just a little bit of ad lib there. Didius wants to battle. Boy, yes he does. Golbat. Well, who did I have a friend again? Oh, Waylon. That's fine. Hello. You have wings. They are mighty, it is true. But my fist is frozen. It did not do as much as I, was, as I was hoping, but at least it's something super effective. See, if this were a, a, a later generation, Waylon would wreck this thing with Ice Punch, because then it would be a physical move, and his attack stat is higher, but... Hey, we got a crit and made it work anyway. It's all good. Nice bit of experience for him. And up against... Magnemite. Yeah, I would roll my eyes too, buddy. You're gonna get, uh... Thrashed here. Hi. This is Peanut. She wants to be your mud buddy. Your mud bud. Blech. No sweat there. Up third. Ooh. Haven't you gotten bigger? <laughs> okay, well. I think it's time. I just realized I don't have a response to grass Pokemon except for this one. Oh, you think you're safe. It's adorable. Throw the tennis ball. Razor Leaf actually probably will hurt quite a bit because it's uh, a little crit happy. Not too bad there. Actually, you know, I th I think Sludge Bomb might be a softball because it, 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 it doesn't bounce. It didn't do as much damage as I was hoping, but that's half. Like, that is a halved amount of damage. So not too shabby. Can you stop doing that, please? It actually really hurts. Get a crit, 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 or, or poison it. I'm, I'm, I'm good either way. It's the crit. Beautiful. No one takes down Sir Truffle and his, and his various arsenal of schoolyard ball equipment. <laughs> Hunter. Well, you fucked up. I got a ball for that. Oh, wait. Reflect is still up, isn't it? Hmm. 
This could be bad. Or it could be fine. Dude. Dude. Choose life! Why would you do that? All these suicidal haunters we run into in this game. Let's say we do- we do, ooh, Sneasel. I ironically, Sir Trumple is still the best choice here. He has a fighting move, a, a garbage fighting move, but a fighting move. Oh, but can we switch? It almost definitely knows Pursuit. Shit, okay. We're gonna heal instead. Because it's a dark type and it, it, it almost certainly knows Pursuit. Now, as I recall, Sneasel's attack stat is far superior to its special attack stat, and Pursuit is special in this generation, so it's probably kind of gimp- Actually, it's Ice Dark, which in this generation are both special. Oh, that sucks. That means, like, both of Sneasel's stab typings are garbage in this game for it. That blows! Poor guy. I feel bad for him now. All right, well, who would be a good switch in then? Um... I mean, assuming it even knows any ice moves, it would be dangerous for Peanut. Same for Frond. Zim is... That might resist Dark. You know what, Zim? This should be fine. Ha ha have your first outing as Magneton. Now, uh, after Gen... I want to say 6, when they introduce Fairy, uh, Steel no longer resists Dark, or Ghost, actually. Um, but at, at, at the moment, I'm, a, I, I'm an unstoppable juggernaut of pain, so it's all good. Don't you use my lair mames against me. Let's test out our, new, our, our, our newly boosted special attack stat. That was underwhelming. Granted, it is, it is still Thundershock. We, 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 definitely, we definitely need a better electric move. But hey, it gets the job done. That's more or less than Sonic Boom, because if it's less than Sonic Boom, that makes me sad. Eh, it's more. Not a lot more, but more. Alright, well. Still, still no real problem for him, so it's all good, really. Wah! <laughs> Why do I lose? I've assembled the toughest Pokemon. I didn't ease up on the gas. So why do I lose? Didn't, didn't Smug do something a lot like that in the last game? I don't understand. Is that what is, is what that Lance guy said true? That I don't treat my Pokemon properly? Love. Trust. Are, are they really what I lack? Are they keeping me from winning? I, I just don't understand. But it's not gonna end here. Not now. Not because of this. I won't give up my dream of becoming the world's best Pokemon trainer. Alright, bye. Thanks for making me have to go heal again, ass. Alright, one second, guys. I'll be right back. I'd say, I'd say overall, we actually, we actually went, actually went uh, pretty well, though. Okay, more Team Rocket, guys. Oh, it never ends. I don't care if you're lost. You show up here, you're nothing but a victim. Dude, don't, don't say shit like that. It's just bad. All right, well, since I still aim to get to Ice Path this, this you know, today, I'm gonna go back to fast forward in these chumps. Because if that's the caliber Pokemon I can expect down here, we're not seeing anything that interesting happen. Wait, level 30? I was expecting like 36 or something. What the hell? Oh, hello there, big fella. You're a beast, and I love it. All right. All right, well, in that case, stay tuned to the end of the episode, guys, because I have some art for you guys done by Thornacris Art, who is an amazingly talented artist. I've been very impressed by her work. And we got a couple of of uh, for, of uh, Waylon Leermame, Berserk King of all Totodile art pieces to show you guys at the end, which I think uh, are certainly worth showing and are pretty damn good. Uh, 
Oh, it's gonna be awesome. I can't wait to see him crush this guy. It's gonna be great. We can't we we, we can't speed through his inaugural fight as a for alligator. We just can't. Be rude. Disrespectful to his majesty. Look at you. I wouldn't want to fight this thing. What are your stats now, to curiosity? I mean, I'm assuming your physical attack is still better, but... 95 health. Yeah, 80 attacks, 75 defense, 61. It's, it, it, like, the, the gap isn't as big as I, as, as I was afraid of, but he's definitely a physical powerhouse. Let's see what, what, what that translates to in terms of uh, stab water damage. Hard to go wrong with Surf. No, I think he does just fine, really. That's a six-level gap, in fairness, but... M -m 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 I'll wash away your filth, man. Not in one hit, but hey. Wait, pound? Really? Okay. Beautifully done. As expected, His Majesty the Berserk King has no true enemies. Alright, back to fast forward through this god for second puzzle. <laughs>
<laughs> oh, the titles keep getting longer. Here you go. Also, why, 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 why the music? We're in the basement of, of the Goldenrod Department Store. I don't know where this is. There's items and stuff, like, stashed back here. You had to, like, go upstairs and downstairs a, a, a thousand times. Well, not quite that many. To make them the, the Machoke move the um, parcels around. I know, because I did it off screen, like, a, a few episodes ago, because it wasn't. I, I didn't figure it was worth putting in. Alright, well. Goldenrod is yet, well, once again safe. Well, not yet, anyway. It, it, it all, almost is. We need to go boot them on a radio tower, and then we'll be. then we'll be safe. And I'm realizing more and more that the ice path may be a pipe dream for this one, considering I've been recording for over an hour now. And even with, with a lot of speed up sections promised, I may need to like stop and check to see how long it, it, it ends up being before I carry on. It might be a good idea to leave ice path for next time, but we'll, we'll, we'll see. This guy is finally the last, the last enchilada on, on our massive, massive plate. Oh, you managed to get this far. You must be quite the trainer. We intended to take over this radio station to announce our comeback. That should bring our boss, Giovanni, back from his solo training. We are going to regain our former glory. I won't allow you to interfere with our plans. Oh, very scary, sir. Do you have a name? I'm going to bet you don't. Nope. <sighs> See, th this is why you guys fail. Giovanni was the only one of you who had a name. That's a bit of a problem. What? I want one! Where the hell did you get that? You cheatsy son of a bitch. I, w I want his own now. This is just mean. Rubbing that in my face like that? I'm gonna drown you so hard. I'm gonna drown you so hard your grandkids will be soaking wet. And then back to the usual. Wow, we had, we had one interesting thing and then we're back to this again. Okay, fine. Waylon's got this. Ho hum de do dum diddly. Hey, look, he lived. I bet he. No, he didn't. He didn't explode. Color me surprised, and then he got a crit tackle instead. There. I know it on you. I know it on you like a chew toy. Now you're just rubbing it in. Don't be a dick. That's a doozy of a bite, though, I tell you. It's a hell of a set of teeth you have on that thing. Then again, special attacking is Houndoom's forte, and Bite is special in this generation, so I shouldn't be that surprised, really. Waylon, please tell me you can kill this thing, because if not, I have genuine issues. Dark Fire is not a mix that anyone else on my team is really equipped to deal with. Damn! No! Thankfully, Houndoom is not terribly sturdy, so this should hurt it pretty bad, too. Yeah, that sounds about right. Took it two moves to do that to me, so that's fair, I guess. But seriously. 
I got nobody on my team who can really resist this thing equally, because that's 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 the other down. Well, I mean, Zim can just can, can resist dark, but not fire. I, I don't have a lot of special defense on my team either, which is another problem I have. The the few that do are weak to dark or fire. <laughs> this is the, this is an issue that needs to be rectified. <laughs> Oh, let me switch it up to faint attack. Isn't that the same strength, though? Mm, weaker, apparently. If only just. Back to the bite. Man, that stings, but there we go. Okay. I was really, really paranoid about, about, about uh, crits there. That would have been pretty tragic. But it's alright. Waylon, Waylon always gets through. Hasn't let us down yet. I don't want him to start now, or any other time, really. Very nice. No, forgive me, Giovanni. Giovanni? Giovanni Auditore! <laughs> How could this be? Our dreams have come to naught. Chestnut. I wasn't up to the task, after all. Like Giovanni did before me, I will disband Team Rocket here today. Farewell. Well, that was easy. Totes! <clears throat> Thank you. Your courageous actions have saved Pokémon nationwide. I know it's not much, but please take this. Clear Bell. Uh-huh. There used to be a tower right here in Goldenrod City, but it was old and creaky. So we replaced it with our radio tower. We dug up that bell during construction. I heard that all sorts of Pokémon lived in Goldenrod in the past. Perhaps. That bell has some connection to the Tin Tower in Critique City. Ah, that reminds me. I overheard Team Rocket whispering. Apparently something is going on at the Tin Tower. I have no idea what's happening, but you might look into it. Okay, I better go back to my office. Is this not your office? No, it's not. It's a recording studio, obviously. Okay. Okay, well, I guess that puts the ice path on hold, doesn't it? Something's... Wait, wait, whoa, 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 whoa. I see an item. Coming in one second. Item dar tingling. Doop, doop, doop. No. Well, that's a bit lackless. It's a bit a little bit anticlimactic, isn't it? Who are you? Uh, ben. Oh, he's a music fellow. That's fine. All right. Well, we seem to have completed the radio tower. Any of you have anything, anything to to, uh, to thank your savior with? Aha. Uh -huh. Oh, you're my little savior. You take this as my thanks. Pink bow. What does that do? It's just right for Pokemon that no normal type moves. Oh, okay. So, for, for, for those of you planning fan art, if, if any of you are, for for uh, Sir Truffle, our our, our grenade belt toting, uh, you know, commando grand bull, you may need to add a little pink bow. Like like not. <laughs> I wouldn't put it on his head. I I I I put it over like like his chest, like 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 a medal. <laughs> Who's no okay, so 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 strength. Strength is evolving to an even greater height of power. That type is shit. I wanna see him punch someone in the face with that now. It's gonna hurt so much. It's already 120 base power. With stab. How about you? Thank you, you're my hero! This is under my appreciation! TM11. Wow, this way they're just lousy with stuff to give me. I love this. I should save radio towers more often. It's sunny day! It powers up fire-type moves for a while. That gives me an idea. Not yet. It, it, it's 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 in the works. We'll we'll get back to this idea later. All right. Well, I'm gonna assume that tr trawling this place for rewards all day long is probably not a very productive way to use my time. So let's just assume that that's it. I guess. Yeah, yeah, let's, 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 let's just go. Let's just go. Yeah, okay. Everyone else seems, seems to be about normal. Let's, uh, check our ID while we're here, I guess. Lucky number show! Hey, is it my lucky day? Is it, is it, is it, is it, is it? Or, lucky week, I, I, I guess he said. Nope. Oh, well. Doesn't hurt to check, I guess. It's free. All right, so Goldenrod is all fixed up, and apparently something is going down at the Tin Tower in Ecruteague City. So first things first, we need to heal so badly. 
Well, not that badly, actually, but, you know. That Houndoom took a lot out of us. I want one. I want one so bad. A, a Fire Dark type would fit into my team so well right now. Like, I, I, you have no idea. Can I even catch one of those on this side of the fence? I'm pretty sure, if my memory serves me correctly, those only only exist over in uh, Kanto, which is weird as hell. Find me a Houndour. Where, where, where it at? Oh, there it is. Heh. Look at this, these. Huh. 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 Or not. Where? Nowhere. No, it must only be in Kanto. Damn it. The fact, the fact that it doesn't say, you know, n n not available though, means it is in the game. So that's, that's, that's all that I ask for. All right, well, our team is growing nicely. Everyone's level 32, except for Frog's level 31. We're growing pretty well, pre pretty steadily. And I guess we'll get to this 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 tin tower mess and ice path next time. I guess I'm, I'm, I'm kind of tempted to go poke my head over to uh, go, to uh, I can see see what's up. Let's let's just go have a look. I guess. Here's what I'll do. I'll, I'll save here, and if it looks like like it's gonna be anything like 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 too 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 lengthy, I'll I'll, I'll just back out and I'll just reload and come at it fresh next time. Um, before any battling gets done, of course. I, 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 I wouldn't violate the uh, nuzzle lock that way. Um, tin Tower is... That's the Burn Tower. Uh, dude? Is, 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 is it this building here? That sounds right, I guess. A moment this event has occurred. I beg your pardon, but I must ask you to leave. Ah! The sound of that clear bell. It, it is sublime. I have never heard so beautiful a sound before. That bell's chime is indicative of the bearer's soul. You, you may be able to make it through the tin tower. Please do go on. So it was like a, like, 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 like a whole dungeon thing? You didn't, you didn't tell me what was happening though. You just said something, he said something unprecedented had happened and then didn't elaborate on that at all. What the hell guys? What, what? Is, 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 is this fight time? It's fight time. Okay, you know what, guys? I'm gonna I'm gonna end this here. I'm gonna back up to the Pokemon Center, and we'll come at this fresh and 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 ready to go for more next time. So thanks so much for watching. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed our our, our our defeat of Team Rocket in the Radio Tower. We got some evolutions, two evolutions today, Zim and Waylon. Pretty pretty exciting about that. Our, our sixth team member remains unsettled, and until we, and, and, I mean, since I can't get a Hound Hour anytime soon, you know, it, it's it's not going to be him, at least not for a while. So, honestly, I'm kind of fine with with, with having our, our sixth slot empty for now. It lets me focus on, on, on my other team members, and aside from a couple of holes here and there, they can more or less handle anything. We, we, we've, we've, we've had it uh, demonstrated to us that, that uh, Fire Dark is scary, but I think that's more to do with Hound Doom having high stats than anything else, because... Whalen, uh, type-wise, did handle him pretty well. Anyway, thanks so much for watching, you guys. Hopefully you enjoyed the episode. And as always, I'll see you in the next one. And Monster Matt out. Bye-bye! All right, guys. As promised, we have some art to celebrate the, the, the mighty occasion of Whalen becoming a Feraligator. I'm super stoked about this. And, uh, I mean, I, I honestly didn't even realize he was going to evolve this early, but he did. It's amazing. And we have some great art to celebrate it. Now, both of these are done by Thornacris Art, a friend of Scription Gaming's, uh, and she is absolutely amazing. She does great work. She did them really fast, too, which I was very impressed by. Uh, and so, without any further ado, let's have a look-see. So, our first one we have is this one. This is this is the first thing she, she uh, came up with without even having all that much time to think about it, and I think it looks incredible. The axe, especially, is, is amazing. The, the, the little red scarf around his neck looks great. Let's the, like, the armor is... Oh, it's so good. And then, when she actually had some more time to sit down and ponder how she would do it in her, in, in her own style, she came up with this and it's just oh the, 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 the like like the skull on the breastplate and, and the mouth looks fantastic and of course there's a version with and without the background um and just ah oh, like the 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 without background has a has a um slightly more vibrant colors and it looks great but like but the 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 background just gives it some more i don't know like 
gravitas, I guess. I don't know. They, they, they both look fantastic. So thank you very much to Lauren from Thorn and Chris Art for doing these. They're amazing. And I was sure I would put them into the video at the very least. I'll probably put them on my, uh, chan uh, on my uh, channel banner sooner or later once I get around to making a new one. Although the one I have now is pretty good, but I, 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 I definitely want these on the channel art somewhere. So look forward to that some point in the future, guys. And for now, be sure to go out and check uh, her channel. I'll, I'll put a link down in the... Uh, down in the description but huh. so be sure to go check her out she does great work and consider throwing some work her way um if she has the time to to uh, do it i'm sure she would love the the extra you know income because artists need to be paid too so thanks so much uh to lauren and to all you for watching and i'll see you guys next time